I'm going to tell you how it's going down right now. Uptown, how, downtown, how forever. Down? Uh, uptown, downtown, forever. <laughs> I got my dude, Black and Mild here. Uh-oh. Y'all know how we rock with them uptown, downtown, my nigga, Puck, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but we wanted yeah. to keep it pushing, so I pulled my nigga Dizzy in, because you know you downtown represent like a motherfucker. I got my dude Wayne in here, because I ain't really cold with the interview type shit, but this the coldest nigga I know in interview. He done did a million of them motherfuckers. This is my dude Why Wayne, so we gonna let him go ahead on and take the lead on this yeah. shit. That yeah. my fucking dude. Yeah, hey. yeah, you gotta sign it out. Yeah, yeah. Sign it out. Man, man, thank you so Introducing much. Introducing Why Wayne. For the Bro. introduction. Yeah. Uh, and we are here, Uptown Downtown. Hit, hit him one time with that. Uptown Downtown is one word. Uptown Downtown. Because if you stay Uptown, you done fuck with them whole downtown. If you stay in downtown, you done fuck with them whole uptown. So you might got kids cross, all that shit. So it's one word, <laughs> fuck all splitting it, uptown, downtown. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the explanation. Uh, but there's been uh, uptown, downtown issues for years, since the start of this city. They gonna be uptown, down. but then they had unity. They had the 39 right. boys, right. and right. they were friends and enemies. I don't right. know what to say about that. <laughs> how, how did you bring all of this together? It's like, really black. Black the key. So black is the glue. He the key to the city. Okay. So how did it start though? How did the whole uptown downtown series start? Oh, it was really with me and Pook. Pook okay. my dude and Pook and Black. Six wall man. Pook. Six yes. wall Pook. Rest, Rest in peace. peace. Rest Six in wall Pook, my fucking dude. Yes. But him and Black was so tight together that me and Pook was looking together. He was like, Skip man, I fuck with Black. We can do. We want to do some music. You know, Pook. Right. Rap dream life. He said, man, Black, my dude. We gonna go in there and get it done. Right. So I was like, she Black was already killing that shit. That nigga was on like twenty five percent of the radio. Yeah. So that nigga blew up. He was punishing that uh, shit. On, on the social shakedown, it was more like about ninety five percent of it. Yeah. Man, when, when, <laughs> At I least. Lie for years, bro. Like you know. I'm saying like you know we, we we got you know consistent people in the city working man and you know I was working with most of them during the time when right. we first started it so you know my thing was I got people coming in and out the studio and as they come they meeting each other mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and you know you got the dusty monies and uh, the the hood stars everybody you know what I'm saying all the record labels I'm saying you know just working together so I was like man put man you being in bitch all the time in the studio man let's Let's do some uptown, downtown. Skip me all already. Skip walked in on the couch and said, man, let's just do it. Let's get it popping. Right. And man, we just, you know what I'm saying? We, it's just something that we just trying to just get back to the city. You know what I'm saying? Keep it fun. Put that old sound, that old New Orleans sound in it. You know what I'm saying? Incorporate other artists in the right. city. You know right. what I'm saying? And just have fun doing music, man. You know what I'm saying? Just. So it started as an idea, yeah. and then y'all popped it off, put out, was it on Nothing But Fire, or was it just not on the label, y'all just put it yeah, out it there for the world? This was before Black Blue. This was right. before Black did all the number one right, shit, right, right. shit like that. <laughs> before Drake. Yeah, yeah and all of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Life before Drake. Ah! <laughs> so what was the name of the first Uptown Downtown? Because we are now up to the fourth installment so, of the Uptown Downtown series. I think we were fucking and ducking. That yeah, was the first. We were fucking and ducking. We fucking and ducking one, two, and three. We just straight Uptown Downtown. Because right, I couldn't play that, that single on the radio. No, we were like, It just yeah. didn't work. My dude, Puck, he had more women music. Yeah. And he was about fucking and ducking them hoes. Right, right. Ducking. <laughs> See, Puck, 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 he wasn't a, a hell of a rapper. First right. of all, so let's get that out of the way. But at the end of the day, he was a good dude, and at the end of the day, you know, the idea was. But he know, was street talk. You know, yeah, he, he was, was street talk. Hustle, oh, you know what I'm saying? So oh, we yeah. just wanted to keep that raw, man. Like at the end of the day, we knew all this. We know how we come. Mm -hmm. We understand each other. We know, you know what I'm saying? So we just wanted everybody to just be them and do them. Right, right. So that was Pook really brought to the, you know, he just brought that extra raw, gritty, you know what I'm saying? He had the energy. Yeah, he right. had the energy. The cool, was right. fun and shit. Right. And, and during the bit. time out, out, the one, one, out the one and two, we got Dizzy on one of the records already. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Before Diddy, Dizzy even joined or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So Dizzy was always all already familiar he with it. fucking and me and right? Skip always were. And so, me and Skip was talking. So, you know what I'm saying? After Pook died, whatever, like, who we gonna get the replace for? fucking Pook. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Black said, let's do this. So I looked at Black. No. I, Seth. Nigga said, it's time. Nigga said, no, it's Seth. Seth. You know what I'm saying? Seth be hustling. You know, so well, Seth's a good nigga. Right, right, right. right. Motherfucker do. Shout out, Seth's Wolf Fire. You're a good dude. Well, you wanted this. Fuck it. Okay. I, I had better chemistry rapping with this. I told him we was going to use him. He already know what's down. Yeah, yeah, fuck with Seth. He yeah, already So there was the first one. What was the name of the second one? The fucking second Duck and Two. Well, and what was the third one? Fucking and Duck and Three. <laughs> so it was like a series. Is the fourth one fucking and Duck and Four? No, we ain't oh, going to fucking oh, Duck and Four. Oh, oh, okay. What's the fourth one called? Uptown, downtown. We just just uptown, period. Downtown. Yeah, we got both. No more hood, no more song. We ain't just fucking ducking all the hoes over here. Okay. I ain't my hood, my hood, man. I mean, somebody, you know all the whole music fucking ducking. You rap with that, that nigga can't even rap. 
So, but that nigga real. So fuck him, he can't rap. Right. That nigga real. Nigga. Right, right, right. I got a lot of backlash on Holly Grove for that one now. You know what the ghetto slave nigga like? Nigga, that nigga ain't got no balls. That nigga ain't about that. This right, my right, fucking right. dude. Y'all missing it. Yeah. So this one, so rest in peace to Pook. Yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, not only do you have Dizzy, but you guys are really working toward putting a bridge toward what you guys have done from a foundation standpoint and all the hungry new rappers, because there's a gang of yeah. talented young yeah. guys and chicks that are putting it down. Y'all incorporating the uptown and downtown new cats on it, too. You got yeah. to, because you know, like, we feel like New Orleans missed on a lot of our talent. Right. We got way more talent than what we're getting credit for. A lot of new artists where we got a lot of respect for a lot of guys, man. Hmm. And we still won't put the guys that we've been fucking with, like Nut the Kid, Wacko on mm-hmm. there. Like, we got like the Jay Jones, the Jay Austin's on there, too. Like, right, right. Just to keep Paul's it all fresh. Crime. Yeah, Paul and the Crime. We just, we really trying to show like New Orleans really got way more to offer than what the world get. Right. So I heard this single, I think it's going to be our lead with PNC. Yeah. What's the name of it? Ponderosa. Tell me about the concept of Ponderosa. You got Kang on there going nuts. Man, you know how Kang went Kang right? in his own? Right. He in his own on this one. Got that melodic <laughs> yeah, ghetto. Yeah. yeah. But it's that beat though, bro. Black, black got some fucking salsa shit going on. Mexican yeah, you Caribbean or something. Where you got that one from? I've been, I've been, I've been traveling. I've been, ah, I've been life after Trey. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> they got to go. Yeah. That been sound like Super Mario mixed with a Mexico. I don't know if that man. bitch bounce. Mexican bouncing right, right. that bitch mixing all kinds of bounce, bounce, bounce. So y'all are uh, aggressively targeting a Latino demographic on this oh, one. Oh, we're having fun. We're having fun. We're just having fun. We that have. Sound like yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need a Rosetta Stone to brush up on my Spanish. Right, right. We drop this bitch. We're going to buy coastal. So, how many? I know y'all got a lot of stuff already recorded. Y'all let me listen to some of the stuff. Fire. I. You know, me and you, I always have told you I'm a fan you of do. your rap you because, my dude. You my dude. like, it's so effortless. Like, it's like you're talking in rhythm. It's rhythmic American poetry rap. It's that. Well, I'm trying to get the world to feel that. like you, man. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. I'm, they missing my greatness. Right. I'm telling I've you. I've been rocking with Dizzy since forever. Say, bro, but this nigga stupid. And, and this guy, <laughs> and this guy, <laughs> and this guy, I remember the first time, I think, uh, he came to the radio station. I tell the story all the time. It was when Faster was out. <laughs> but Faster, Faster, Faster. Tell me you did, I didn't even know you did that. Yeah. <laughs> and and some other that. tracks, but like I always felt like there was a different kind of thing about his bounce. It was different. Because there was a lot of bounce producers, but some of the sounds and the syncopation of his beats was way different from anything else out there. And all these years later, he at the top of the game. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? Uh, but I think... It's great to talk about uptown, downtown, but people need to know about y'all history. Because I don't think that there's don't enough, visit, there's visit. not enough videos, oh, there's not right enough time. interviews time. out there that about. talk about. <laughs> I'm gonna start with you, Skip. What we gonna start with you? Start with you, you start with me. I, this might take a while. You gonna start with me then, fuck. Hey, when did you start even rapping? Oh, I had like, cause I remember you just kind of popping out of nowhere. Yeah, it wasn't really. I was, I've been to rap. But I wasn't ever rapping professionally because I felt like rappers wasn't making money back in the day. Like when Paul the Crime and Big Boy and Michigan first started with UNLV. Right, right, right. Them niggas wasn't in business, you know, and they making no money. So I but they thought rap would be beneficial for me because I'm after them dollars. Right. So I wasn't. Really, yeah, but then they rapped out making money. Right. And I'm like, hold up, I could rap. I need I, in. I, yeah, I could rap. I, I, I just say I couldn't, wasn't, could, wasn't no money there. Right. But not a money here. I could rap. Okay. I could fucking rap. Mm-hmm. So, so when did you first professionally rap? Though. When, when did you first go in the studio? Oh, I went in the studio playing a lot, like with J Dog and uh, Black Menace and them back way back in the game when okay. they were big boy. But what nothing I dropped professionally like talk out with like Juvie. When I got with Juvie, I was like letting the world know like no nigga, I rap. Right, right. I rap, rap. I rap, rap. Yeah. So what, what was the first song you featured on? It gotta be uh, that came out. Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember. I had some old shit, but that shit came out. Gotta be that UTP shit. Okay. Gotta be that UTP shit. Cause I wasn't dropping them before that. I was just playing with music before then. But UTP, when I first came out officially, like, nigga. So Magnolia Clap was was that? Nah, we had some albums before Magnolia. Stuff before like, that. We had some underground shit. We dropped, like, the fucking, uh, I had the Live from Hollywood album. We dropped off of you, uh, UTP first on Orpheus. Uh-huh. That one, that was, like, in fucking 2000 or something like that, 2001. Right, right, that right. That when the first came out official with that shit. Uh-huh. And then, then so, and that was some compilations after that. Then we came with the fucking uh, Back Like We Left something. 
with the uh, rap a lot. Then we went to asylum with the shit. And then we- Wait, so you, so were you ever with Cash Money? Oh, and the- were you signed? I, w- I never signed, but I, I was never. I was on the baller block. They took me off the baller block, and I wasn't on the baller block. Mm. It went bad. Like we, we had left. It kind went of, left. It went left. Like I, left, left. When I first met Jew, Jew was still with Cash Money. Right. And Jew was like, man, Skip, you good. You can rap. I was like, nigga, you make rap money. Nigga, I'm rapping in the fucking hood. That's not fucking rapping. I ain't even consider that rapping. Nigga, make no fucking money. Right. Mm-hmm. He said, man, if you can help me make rap money, I'm winning. He brought me the baby. They brought me on the tour, Rough Rider Cash Money tour. Baby got me battling niggas all on the road and shit, like we going to sign. But then the shit just went left. Right, right. I was back in the fucking hood. <laughs> Jew come like man, I got a label and put out UTP. We go for it from there. Boom, we jump on UTP move. Right, right, right. And then, and then Magnolia clap. Boom. I, I, I'm gonna refer to that one because that was a pivotal. That's not my song. That's a wax song. I, so I was digging through my CD boom, crate. Boom. I found the a original. disc with just whack on it doing That's Magnolia wax clap. Song, man, I don't understand. Uh, I understand. But it was bad business. If the original Know You Clap is wax song, solo song by itself. Right. The Know You Clap remix is the one I'm on. That's why I said I never claimed it as my song. I was on it. I right. did publish it, but I didn't write that. I would put on the song as a remix. Right. That's wax original song. Right. I don't know why it's registered to Jew. Thank you, baby. That's a horrible move. That's right. terrible. That, that's, that's bad friendship right there. That's got to be terrible, bad business. Cause how you got the original song is for Wacko, but the remix is for Juvie. That's somebody in paperwork publishing the straight to put the move on my nigga Wacko easily. Right. That's right. terrible. Totally fucking terrible. So, I don't know the whole story, but it was big for y'all career. Fucking right. We blew off that bit. Like, I remember around the country, people say, bruh. Uh, you got that that new class people from all across the country because they know obviously my ties with all the artists here that were popping. Boom! Like it was featured on TV show. They was we all video we games, all kind of stuff. That bitch, that bitch was huge. We did, I, 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 man, they, that that bitch carried. And that was on Rap a Lot though. We come out on Rap a Lot. It was so big that Rap a Lot sound deal with Asylum, so they brought and re put it out again on Asylum. The song was so big. Okay, okay. You know how you come out independent with Rap a Lot, then they get the deal, so now they re put the bitch out. So it was put out twice. Huh? Then they made another remix trying to bleed that bitch with some juicy dudes on that man. It, it, all off my dude. <laughs> what man, happened? Man. What happened, huh? Me and Wack made my own remix. So so how was it working with Jay Prince? Jay Prince is a real dude. Okay. He's okay. a real dude. I give him props. I had like, I used to talk to Jay a lot about all kinds of shit, but Jay gave me real kind of life advice on shit. So I had to give him props for that. Right. No man, doubt. Like no past doubt. the rap nigga, this was nigga really need to be moving on. This side more and I respect him for that. Mm-hmm. Then he got a lot. He got a lot. He made a lot. Nigga that accumulated like a good game. No doubt. No he doubt. He got good game. So uh, I would talk about the Chicken Empire, <laughs> but that's going to be our next interview. All right. I want to find out about Dizzy. Raw D.I. What's up? What's up? So, talk up. God, yeah. man, you got to tell me about, I'm here, bro. like, your story. I remember <laughs> when I used to go get my head cut by Miguel. Wow. <laughs> when I had hair. Uh, oh, Mflex, man. he was Mflex then. Who? Man, no, Miguel. Oh, I'm not you. Oh, not you. I don't know about that. But that was Miguel's name? Yeah. Shout out to Miguel, man. man he, in the night one. Yeah, he, uh, I'm not down. Man. But you, I remember, I think you brought me to this while I was yeah, at the yeah, barber yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your first yeah. project. You were with? Kid, kid, but y'all were a group called Tragedy, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that was my first oh, introduction. Tragedy, artist. tragedy, yeah. We used to be cutting up. We was fucking with, uh, uh, you know, uh, remember uh, what that was? Groove City on this on Galvis down there, that record shop down in the name. Yeah, on, yeah. On by this Galvis and Desire, they family had like a business and a record company and shit. So we was doing business with them back then, like for the music. So how did that? How did that project? How did you and Nut? Like come he, together he than, initially. He, he like a year, two years younger than me, I think. You know, he from we from the same neighborhood, and uh, man, I used to get loaded and just rap. Me and my partners just freestyling and shit, regular shit. And uh, one day he walked up, was like, I could rap, but this was when we were way younger. Right, right, right. So later on, after that, uh, I ended up getting with some people trying to fuck with the shit, you know. So the dude who was really originally with my dog Tank. He had gotten to some beef when you know his cousin got killed and some shit went down. So he kind of mentally was a little fucked up and he didn't 
come in the studio, you couldn't do it. Uh -huh. So I was going to the studio one day, I'm driving the studio like by myself, like, man, the only person outside was kids. <laughs> <laughs> so it happened kind of accidentally. And when I pulled to the corner of the store on Maze and fucking Miro, that boy was sitting outside by himself. And I was there like, man, don't you rap? Because I remember he stopped that time. Right. He was like, yeah, I was like, man, get in the car. He got in the car like, look, this is about to happen. Just, just like that. We going over here. I got this shit lined up. We going to the studio right now. And you know, they waiting on us, this this group name and the album, just, just like that. Oh, you put <laughs> he was that. like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But when he got there, that nigga really could rap. Right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, and I was something stupid serious back then. I was way worse than older now. You right, know that right. old DI. So we went by XL. You know XL? Yeah, yeah, yeah. XL. Yeah. Absolutely. Donald Robinson. Yes, yeah, so right. they recorded yeah. us like okay, and we had an album. But he used to do juvenile. Now, he used to do like some juvenile stuff too. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The early yeah. juvenile, XL, juvenile, juvenile yeah, like yeah, a backpack yeah, rapper. Yeah, XL, yeah, XL yeah, don't know the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. XL got some plaques, man. So, uh, yeah. So did y'all ever put out a second tragedy? Yes, album? we did. It was called Reload, and we did good with that. Okay, like, on the underground market. We started performing in the nightclubs and shit, skate and shit. I like was that. doing all of them. Nightwalk. I had y'all in all the clubs. <laughs> oh, man, man, but that nine was I fucking was promoting up. everywhere. Man, that nine was fucking everywhere. Look, the funny is uh, the desire of uh, YG. Yeah, it was yeah. like our little rivals and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> them boy, I fuck with them boys. They had that little song uh, that we playing. I forgot the Desire of Florida, I think. But well, I just had, had a bunch of little yeah, songs so, out. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we was a group. We put the album out, but you know, it should be going downhill, man. They could just be doing shit and uh, just almost like every, everything else. A lot of people got that situation where shit don't work out in the beginning. Right. But they still move on to other things. And so, like, what like what year was that? You remember? 96, 7. Y'all went to the squad together? Man, the squad. That was my next question, but ah! go ahead. Oh, I'm in. I'm on this. That was I'm my next question. I'm, really, I'm on it. Listen, I'm going to give y'all a piece of that because I was saving that for Oprah life. Ah, <laughs> I was saving it for Oprah. Oprah. Right, that's cool. I'm going to give y'all some of that, but I was saving that for Oprah. <laughs> and you get a water. And you get a water. You get a water. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Oprah. Nah, real, real nigga shit, bro. You know, kid, kid really was like, man, like a little brother to me, bro. Everything I had, like, he was just... My family, my mama, bro, his mama, man, we, we fought for each other like Yo, the nigga man. really, really family, bro. Right, right, right. His family, his uncles. My mama was helping his uncle when he was sick. You know, he died. Rest in peace, Uncle Chalk. You know what I'm saying? So me and him was really jammed. So when the shit went downhill, mm -hmm. we still was stuck together and the hood was backing us. Like, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? So we was motivated. We still was writing songs and shit. So I got a job at the airport. I got him on and everything. Mark Morio got me the job. What? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. My story vicious, man. Y'all yeah. like you saving him over? I was saving him over. Mark Morio yeah. got me my job at the airport. Facts. So, kid, I got a kid on and we was working there, man. So the funny thing was, I ain't even trying to be, you know, this up, this up, this up time. I don't want to be all about me, but, man, being in that fucking airport, bro, I used to be seeing them celebrities and shit. Uh -huh. And I used to be like, man, fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this bitch, I can rap. Well, I started right. I started going super duper with that fucking pimp. And that nigga kid, my partner Fuke brought kid to feed him, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And they brought kid to Wayne. And Wayne heard him was like, yeah, that's it. Kid was like, no. I'm gonna get my dude. My dude, he fuck this my, this Real my shit. brother. Real shit, right, right, right. Y'all at least got a him. If y'all don't want to fuck with him, I did my part. They ain't know about you already, though? They ain't know. Man, well, you know, Gutter them knew me from school. I went to read. Yeah, you know, yeah. Partially went to read with uh, Gutter them. But, you know, Wayne them ain't know nothing. So my nigga bumped me in front of Wayne. I swear to God, man, I rapped for that nigga for about 15 minutes. Ask feet. Them boys were going crazy. Soup Blanco, Blanco come back. We fucking with it. I told him we fucking with it. Boom. And that was it. You know, Sammy, Sammy pushed it. I give him that, my nigga. He How's said, he doing? You know, where's Sammy at? He, uh, he moving around and shit. He all okay, right. He doing okay. good. Man, we're blocked, man. So, so were you an official member of Squad I'm Up? I was the last one. Okay. So, like, I, I can't. I was, I was see, the last. See, you, Wayne, and Nut were writers and like real rappers. Mm -hmm. But what, what, were y'all like teaching Gutter and them really? Wayne showed the them game? whatever he showed them and they caught it quick. Okay. 
you know, it just was the pressure of being. Cause they were ball players, right? They, they, they all doing all kind of shit. They were doing all kind of shit. Yeah, they were doing all kind of shit. But there was hot boys too. They was really out here fucking right. the moves and right. whips. Because they see, I always say squad up save Wayne's career. I can't. I, I, but I, I, I'm entitled to my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Because sure. Baby had bucked him up to do that 500 degrees, which was a, a bad project. Yeah. And yeah. that was to spite Juvenile. That was yeah. some bad. Or oh, whatever. And he was feeding off our energy. And he and, was going hard regardless of the 500. And he kept and going. And then Katrina hit too. But that put y'all on a bigger map because y'all had moved out of the city because yeah. you had no choice. We ain't yeah, had I was, I was, we ain't I had was doing shows myself at Crazy Spots making buku money. Right. Yeah. And it was like, it still wasn't even out there yet. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? It's crazy. It was crazy. So, Squad Up did his thing, ran his course. Then you went back so long? I never left Wayne. Okay. I squad Up left. So you were signed to Young Money? Never ever was signed. Okay. But it, it was crazy how it went down. I, I don't want to say like, you know, I just, like they just left or whatever. But the thing was, what happened when them leaving, I was still talking to them. But you were still here. But I wasn't fully with the movement. It's just a lot of things I didn't know about and I didn't know how it was going because they was talking to each other and I didn't know everything. Right. So when it came time to really make that move, I was like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. like, fuck, Raj got the studio. I'm going to fuck with Raj. Right. They gone to Ohio somewhere. Right. So that's how the PCO thing started? Yeah. So, so what does PCO stand for? Paper Chasing Organization, bro. And so was that the label with you and Raj that put out yeah. the Rocket Elbows record? Yeah, yeah. Because that song was huge. Yeah, oh. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it was giant. Some, it was doing some shit. I was doing some shit. I was fucking with it. So did you, did, were you ever offered a distribution yeah, deal for that project? I, I, I was told that I got blackballed by certain people, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I ain't seen nobody do nothing, but I did see some shit change mm. at a certain point of the song. Right. But it's all good, you know, nigga, hmm. still all right. And then you was off the scene for a while. Yeah, I, mean, man. I know every now and then you would come to say, Weezy, nah, I got a new record, and you had some bangers. I had to get my mind right, man, listen, man. Did life get in the way? Man, I was doing all kind of shit, bro. You know, family. you had a grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Man. I remember you said you said he got a grocery store. It got a burned down and everything. Store? Yeah, family. I heard burnt it down. I ain't seen nothing. I wanted to hear. Did the be on spot? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Believe you know. Who? A lot of shit that fucked me up because that was like really I had been fucking my money up, you know, and doing all kind of. But I helped my mom out though. Right, right, right. I helped my fucking mom. I ain't do if I ain't did nothing else. I helped <laughs> I mom. Helped mom, help mom. Help mom. <laughs> got mom straight. Hey, one really fucked up my little bridge, you know. But yeah. uh, after that, me and my mama really was. My mama encouraged me to fuck with the stove. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I just was investing with her. You know, she was out there because I wasn't out there, and she was on top of it. Huh. Man. A lot of shit, but I was on the scene, man. I, I still had to get my mind right. I was tripping out shit, doing all kind of shit, you know, not being focused. I wasn't making the music like I was supposed to be doing. But Raj had gave me the go to just do what the fuck I wanted to do. Like, I wasn't never signed to Raj. So, he, hmm. you know, he, everybody thought I was signed to So, Raj. was that your label? Oh, no, well, it, it was, was our was label. On, it was a group thing. It was our it was label. A group you got. But it still, I ain't had no fucking contract to it. What the fuck? Right. It's like, I'm about to me sign my paper and put it in the file. Yeah, I wasn't even myself. on that type right, of time. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, you know, it was it was, it was a learning experience. You mm -hmm. know, I had a lot of people working for me. I had a lot of people helping me, you know, that was just looking out for me and shit too. Hope a nigga don't feel like I owe him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to you if I do. I do owe a few people. Please, I'll get to you. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I just ain't seen him in a while. I'm going to get right. Now, Black. Black. Yeah. Black. What's it out? Black. Come on. Uh-oh, yay. What's it out? <laughs> Black. Yeah, Baby. <laughs> What's happening, dog? I'm cooling, bro. I'm cooling. Hey, man, uh, like I always say, I've watched him grow. I'm, I'm so proud of him because he was just that little... He was just a little producer, little bounce producer. But then he kept hitting him over and over and over again. I didn't realize how fast he was that growing. Shit was and then it wasn't just the bounce artist because he started doing like other tracks, like mainstream tracks. And then before you know it, I'm in California. What's he doing in California? Rock and repeat, dog. The new no limit. <laughs> he stole it. I said, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and, and then... Uh, well, we get to that part. We get yeah. to that part. How, how did you get started in the first place? That's what we we establishing right here. How did how did your roots start to grow in this music game? 
man, just just loving the pioneers, bro. Like just really just, just into the to the music, man. Like just loving everything, bro. Just I don't know. I just was fucking crazy when I was small. I was crazy when I was a little boy, just crazy about making music, man. Just beating with pens and pencils and shit. Everywhere. What was your what was the first thing you like recorded on? What device did you record on? Was it at the house? Was it in the studio? Was did somebody how did it was a radio, man? I had the radio with the record. You put the other radio right there to play the beat and you speak right there to be close to that bitch. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Beating on pillows, put that bitch close by the radio, make a beat. Sampling with tapes, bro. Um, I started on the ASR attending the beat machine. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like, man, just fuck. I don't know, man. I'm loaded. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Great answer. Yeah, bro. Uh, so, <laughs> but now, like, you know, Wayne, like, you know, what I'm saying, don't get me wrong. My, I got a little journey, bro. But like, you know, y'all, y'all be around me, so y'all see how I am. So you can you can think of how I was back in the days, like right. you know what I'm saying. Look uh, what I know about right, that. Right. Like, like, I'm a workaholic. Man, but the public studio. wanna know. Look, yeah. the public wants to know. I know they know. wanna know, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, they know. I know what they the public know. listen. What? Black just didn't want to be known as a bounce producer. Right, bro. Right. That's his mission, because they air about like he a bounce producer, he a bounce yeah, producer. Nigga, Even when I first started fucking with black, they're like, what you gonna get a bounce producer? I'm like, no, my dude make all kind of fucking yeah, tracks. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. Right. This nigga man make shit out of nothing. The dude is fucking phenomenal with this shit. He put the genes on there because he won't be known as a genius. The nigga missing my dude. Okay. Man, the nigga take pieces of words and make fucking hooks and all this kind of shit. My nigga, you end up working. This nigga be working with all kind of that fucking was people. Genius. Man, right, he right. had like I be you when I first start going over there. I'm, I'm sitting there with him waiting. I watch this nigga go through five, six. I said, how many sessions this nigga doing a day? Right, right. <laughs> what the fuck? Who working this hard <laughs> for these fucking pennies? Right, right. Then right. he not charging pennies. I said, this nigga here, but he got it because. If you charge a nigga pennies, and I do about five record labels a day, I made a little something, but I ain't make that much. But you were all night flighting. Like, every, all this time. every day. Every day, I'm around. Every day. I know he in this bitch. <laughs> Look, I, I know we was, we'd be doing industry influence or something. We'll finish at about three. So I said, I'm about to go to the studio at yeah. three o'clock in the morning. In that bitch, black. right by black, because you're doing bitch. all the uh, book stuff and man, they this bounce artist and that. that was in there for Bro, hours I in got the work. I got to work with nine and seven percent of the city. Right, like, right. From Gregory D, I don't work with fucking uh fucking. T.T. Tucker, DJ Jimmy. What? The new Mayor niggas, the new niggas begging the I don't work with so many you people. Black? Right, right. And my thing is, Wayne, I ain't never, like, wanted, like, I'm going to say, like, try to reach out to a person, you know what I'm saying, to work with them. Like, I just sat back and kept working and just, you know what I'm saying, well, let it came to me. Let the money chase and, you, and right? Everybody came to me, like, right, everybody, right. somebody heard about me, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was fucking Mr. Magic, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know. Man, it was just crazy. Like I walk in that bit one time. <laughs> I always wanted to work with Mystical. I just worked with Mystical not too long ago. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like that always been something I wanted to do. Like you know what I'm saying? I walk in that bit Nova and that bitch I don't know Nova because I don't even know about that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know you gonna meet that day. Ah, man, I'd be like, man, who they man? I'd be like, who the fuck are you gonna sell? No, I'm like, me, nigga. Nigga, I don't know. Nigga, nigga, I don't know. If you don't know, I'm just asking. You know. You just sitting there. Nigga, be sitting there. I don't know. Mm. And that's the thing. Why? How, wait, wait. How did you trans? How did you transition to the California run with Pete? Uh, tell me, how did Pete call you? Juggy call you or something like that? To, to swing the deal to get you out there to come how see you guys working out. You got, yeah, you ain't how, never, how you got the no limit? Man, Juggy, bro. Juggy yeah, did it, that. bro. Juggy, Juggy. Juggy, you know, Pete, I guess. So what happened was Pete was looking for a bounce record for his daughter, Symphony. Boom. So Juggy was like, Black, Pete want to move will fly out here or whatever, do, you know, work with Symphony, do some records or whatever. So I'm like, I ain't tripping, let's do it. I get out there, I do the record, you know what I'm saying? He like it, like he said in the whole session or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Fuck after that. Couple of minutes. Man, that nigga was like, man, I heard you rap. Play some shit. I heard you rap. Play some, play some shit. Huh? Oh, yeah. So I played him some shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because you, know you had saying? a bunch of stuff you yeah, was trying you know, to really rap, rap. Yeah, I was rapping. Yeah. I was really rapping. And, and rapping on them fucking thuggers. And, and then what happened? What happened when Pete heard your rap? Man, the stuff? first record I played, that nigga like, man, look, 
We gonna load that up right now. We about to load. <laughs> we about to. <laughs> that that nigga, that. man, that nigga fucked with that, bro. Like, he jumped on the record that I had, man. Like, just, you know what I'm saying? How was that experience, like, in your brain? Yeah, that was one of the biggest moments in my life, bro. When I walked in that room, bro, P was standing there, just sitting right there. I like that nigga a giant like a motherfucker. <laughs> he talk like a motherfucker. I ain't know. That nigga a giant, yeah. right? Nah. He about six four. And he moved. He moved <laughs> fast, yeah. dog. Man, man, P moved. Young man, P fast as a motherfucker. My P walk fast, run fast, everything. I done ran through the airport with this man, bro. That nigga. Yeah. So leaving everybody. So you you uh started working on the numbers projects or what happened yeah, from man. there I, um yeah um we worked on a, a a few projects man money mafia you know what i'm saying i did like about six seven projects for him the money so, mafia had some nice stuff oh, on yeah. it yeah we was on bro we was rolling i ain't gonna lie when we first kicked off he was man i don't know it was something was happening you know what i'm saying like i, I there was like cash money no limit back you know what i'm saying okay like, oh yeah it was crazy bro you know p remember p took over the radio for like a week i know yeah he came back with a push man he was like Psh. we had them lit during the time so then uh after that you you just came back home and started working on just more beats expanding like your range because i'm sure that had to be a good experience because you weren't just doing bounce yeah. like you were in the woods you were able to yeah. expand your your catalog of, right. of, uh, of tracks with different styles, different yeah. flavors, yeah. soaking up that Cali vibe, uh, uh, traveling, etc. Yeah. So when you came back after the No Limit run, then then what? So I was still back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Cause I you know I lived in, I still lived in New Orleans or whatever, but um, shit man, it, you know the you know for I was I was chilling, bro. You know what I'm saying? Doing my thing, being a family man, man. And, just, just living the life, doing what I was doing. In the yeah. studio yeah. every day, you know what I'm saying? Just right. working. And out the blue, you know what I'm saying? He'll come weeby, crazy, stupid, dumb ass. Oh. Playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he come up there and he playing that nigga like, man, we were, because we was working on a project, man. We was already working on some shit. We had to, uh, let me find out. Right, right. Yeah, Snoop and uh, Juve got on that thing, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So we was, you know, I was already just still banging, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it wasn't nothing but, um, that nigga hit me out the blue with that Drake situation, man. I thought he was playing that first. And, you know, the shit just wind up. He called me. He called me. We in, in Calabasas. Yeah. I was I like, Calabasas. Right he said, Calabasas, that's what Drake's day. We up here doing it. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> so I thought it was just him. He said, yeah. nah, got black with me. Yeah. So he bro. said, uh, 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 who had recruited y'all uh, to come up there and jump on there? Um, Ted, who that is? Uh, Cortez, Cortez. Cortez. Yeah. And how, how was how was that whole wave? Like going up there, Drake, uh, obviously, one of the biggest artists of our generation, uh, you know, and, and on a label like Young Money, Cash Money, right. got the New Orleans ties. How did that whole thing with you and Weeby? Uh, how did that transpire? Because I was I was talking a lot to you and a lot to Weeby during that period, but yeah. it's your story, so you gotta run. Man, that was a hell of an experience, brother. Like I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? That shit, like, man, I don't know, bro. That shit, that is crazy. Like that shit was like a flash, really. Like I feel like it was some type of flash, but but it was crazy, bro. It was a crazy time, bro. You know what I'm saying? The shit just happened, like. Man, two number ones, bro, in one year. Two two number on, ones man. back to back. Back, back to back, like, bro. Like, Drake's album had two bounce-influenced tracks that went number one back to back. And, and they, they weren't... Gonna, black sound like this. They, they weren't going to put out that second one, but the streets got a hold of it. Yeah. And, and I'm going to say this, too, because people not putting this out there, but there was another version of that Nice For What. Yeah. A full version that got Weeby with a whole verse on it. Yeah. And Buku ad lib that got cut off because they rushed and put it out. Like, I remember I was on vacation with my family at, uh, what was that? Great Great Wolf Lodge. I'll never forget. It was Isn't like. The Black and Mild Vote? Bro. I, they put that record out so fucking fast. Look, it, they put it out overnight. Oh, like, both it, of them really took me. Like, they, like, they, like, when once I left from Toronto, um, Toronto or whatever, Fucking with the record or whatever, like shit. The next record just dropped fast as a motherfucker. I'm like, like damn. The bitch was undeniable. I, I did enough. I really did a third record for him or whatever, but that one ain't really ooh wop or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But shit, boy, that third one what a yay. They won't get all that fuck. <laughs> that number one. That would have been the yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So look, so the doors open wide open after that. You had been putting down work for a number of years, number of situations, but. 
who are some of the artists you've had placements with in the life after Drake? Oh, man. I know you had Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Young Jeezy, man. Uh, Yo Gotti. Um, man, it's crazy, bro. Pleasure P, bro. Um, Two Chains. Man, it, it just go, bro. It's, right, it's, right. There's a lot of people, man. Well, I, I just yeah. want to congratulate all three of y'all for being you know, foundations in the rock in the city. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been laying it down for a long time. Uptown, downtown. Uh, uptown, downtown. Uptown, downtown. I, and I, I'm happy that you guys are building that bridge. You know what I'm saying? Because there's been layers of hip hop in New Orleans. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I say going back to, you know, like uh, Sporty T and the Ninja Crew and uh, you know, Mia X early, uh, Gregory D. Manny Fresh, yeah. you know, an uh, early Ooh. bounce with Tucker, uh, er, early bounce with DJ Jimmy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but that was one layer. Then we had another layer. And I think this might be really almost the fourth generation of rap in New Orleans. But now you have a whole group of youngsters behind you guys that don't even need radio. Like, don't need a whole video crew. They doing right. it on their own. They streaming. They doing a number of those things. Yeah. Uh, but how is it working with this next generation on Uptown Downtown Project? Man, we working with them, man. Like we we gonna, we bringing the you know we bringing the, the youngsters in. You know what I'm saying? Like right now is a time where everybody just need to just be working, man. Just putting out that music, man. And so you know what I'm saying? You could be independent. You know what I'm saying? And, and just do you. You know right. what I'm saying? And just, yeah, the door is open. Like, sure. it's, we like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, the old, yeah. Right, right. Sure. Yeah. Youngsters yeah. take, you know what I'm saying? They taking advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, that's what they supposed to do. But we about to be rocking, rocking with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? We going to take advantage of that shit, man. We going to, ooh, wow. Yeah. Dizzy working on a solo situation as well. You know what I'm saying? And Skip, like, so. So we talked about Ponderosa being a single yeah. with PNC. What are some other singles on the project? Cause I know y'all still, y'all still choose. Y'all got so much music. <laughs> we don't even know the names. They it's about content right, right now. Right. right. We're gonna just do about seven videos off the bitch off Google songs. Okay. It's about content. People want to see content. What we doing, Lord? Right, right, right. We want to show the world what we doing, to all what we got to offer. So we gonna sit on the Miz app. Okay. Sit on the Miz app, man. We gonna yay. We, we doing it for the, the city. Game. We gonna shoot it here. We gonna shoot it there. Wherever the city popping at, we gonna put the city people on that bitch, mm -hmm. and we gonna keep that bitch new all. So what what is the, what is the the perspective that you get from people out of town on what they feel about New Orleans hip hop? Because you guys travel a lot, and you guys have been in a number of circles, and I think this is important for like the next generation to understand that hasn't really traveled, right. that don't have any history right. in the game, like they just they just rapping right. on their block, they just people rapping people in the city people because people like, like, sometimes people don't understand like when you walk in a club, when you walk in a room, and you New Orleans. What kind of energy happened? Man, from us coming out of New Orleans early traveling, we didn't pave the way. People know New Orleans people the shit. If you got a little name from New Orleans too coming, they gonna give you a little respect that they know you coming with something. Yeah. Nigga, no niggas from New Orleans ain't no hoe, ain't no bitch. And <laughs> yeah, so y'all get out there, y'all, 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 we pay the way, believe you say, say you know a nigga. Right. Yeah. Nigga name gonna carry the cosign, huh? Coast, come here, cosign, yeah. call a nigga back when you get out there. I had book nigga call out there, nigga finally meet J Prince. Nigga call him back like Keem him. Boy, I'm with J Prince, give him how you call me, nigga, I'm a vouch for you and everything. Nigga, no niggas say Skip gonna give you the real. Cause nigga been out there, nigga paved them roads already like a motherfucker. Right, right, right. Huh. So niggas got a nigga, but we get more unity than anything. Right. But they love us, though. They love the city. They love Hell our culture. Yeah. You know, everywhere the we female, go. Every, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They like how you talk. Oh, girl. Everybody want to say, baby. Everybody want bounce now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Read the shit. Dumb ass, man. Well, so, do y'all have a release date yet? No, we, we about to release nah, these we, singles. We got we single, gonna single, 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 but, you know what I'm saying, as we work, we're going to be putting it out. You know what okay. I'm saying? So we we, we about to yank it tomorrow. But check for that first single. Yeah. Ponderosa. Ponderosa. Ponderosa, Ponderosa Ponder Crime. Ponderosa Crime, bro. Mina, Mina, uh, manager Mina. <laughs> <laughs> what manager <laughs> Mina is? Direct the Mina. He rapping and everything. But, you hear me? No doubt. Well, this is the first installment 
of the Uptown Downtown interview series. Yeah, we'll be coming back. I then. just made that up, but that that's that's yeah. what we're doing, and we'll be back with more. Part two is coming. Please believe.